Teddy. So where are we doing it? We're going like one, one two, two, go, or one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. All right, I'm going scissors anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll go wrong. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. If you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oof. Oh. One song. Daryl Braithwaite Horses. Good All choice. the time. It can't be too upbeat because you'll always be on you'll always, yeah. And it, you can't be can't. too low because you'll need a pick-me-up come yeah. game day. Yeah, it's going to have to be something with a bit of beat, but middle. a bit chilled as well. We've got Better got take that. Awesome. Better take that, that's a good one, yeah. Which player do you remind you of? Is this rugby player? Or just a player? Just a player. Just a player. <laughs> 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 that's a tough. More like a wrestler, I think. Hornswoggle, is he, is he a good wrestler? <laughs> He's a little little Irish little time. Irish wrestler, a little midget. He's he's good. Skip it, go. What play the match? What sort of questions are you? Just come up with these. Think about this answer very very carefully. Very carefully. If you're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, who would you not have on your phone of friends list? Who would I not have? Yeah. I wouldn't have my mum. Definitely not have my mum. She wouldn't understand the question. I wouldn't have Coxie. No. Definitely yeah. wouldn't have Coxie because. You, no. you need more than 30 seconds if you've got Coxie on a brain. I get Coxie on, you know, 500 pound question. That's right, something so simple. <coughs> Ask uh, him, what's his name? What, what's your <laughs> surname? Hey, you spell your surname. Uh, Dylan Napper. No, no, actually, can't say Blake Ferguson. Dead set. He would not know a thing. Not one thing. Who do you? Who would you have? Not have. Blake as well. He's um, Blake. simple. Simple. <laughs> Fergie, simple. Yeah. Hey? What is, oh, it's your go. Oh yeah, yeah, this one. It's just excited, mate, little game show host. Oh, what is the thing you find most annoying about me? Um, you don't own a wallet. <laughs> oh, at least if you do, you don't get it out very often. Uh, yeah, that's a good stitch out of that one. That one's probably an easy one. Uh, there's probably a couple. One that, a couple. one that you never buy coffees. That's 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 a lie straight away. And the other one is game day. Why? Because you like literally, if you could get there as you're going I, out for warm. I'm not getting there and put it lines on pitch. You, you'd get there as we was going out for warm up if you could. Yeah, you'd get there and put posts up. <laughs> but we're early. We're like we're there. We're prepared. Wow. Chill out. Nah. Literally, I'm leaving for the game and he's still in bed. Absolutely. So <laughs> still that's up, that's the one thing yeah. I have to drive every game day. You don't drive any other time. And I always drive you, don't you drive team, any other time. team run. You drove me today, that's I it. have drove you today, I picked you up this morning. That's it. But yeah, probably game day. Yeah. Boy, this is a big one. Yeah. We see a group of girls and want to start a conversation. <laughs> Who is leading the way and what is the line? Who's leading the way? Yeah. Oh, Coxie. 100%. Coxie, Coxie lead the way. Yeah. At lads. Because he thinks he's a sort, doesn't he? Yeah. And then probably get knocked back. Well, you could talk a glass eye to sleep as well. Yeah, because, yeah. But any other lads, um, I reckon Reese Evans in his air day before he met his missus. Yeah, he, 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 he was confident. Lot, didn't he? Yeah, he was confident. Uh, we're getting a common theme here: Cox and Reese Evans, two confident lads. I know. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon them two would lead the line, but yeah. they soon get what knocked back. Yeah, they. Hundred percent. They go break, break, break the ice, ice, and then everyone and else they, they, in. they fall in, and then we <laughs> get the. No, nah, not. Oh, we wouldn't go up. Well, we're not married men, so yeah, I've got I'm not going up. Go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> So how's your day and walk away? Send that to Jenna too. Uh, if you could have been brought up in another country, where would you choose and why? United States, just because it's so big and plenty of opportunity. And Vegas is there. <laughs> <laughs> if we were both stuck on a desert island, who would last the longest and why? It's kind of a male fattest. <laughs> yeah, we're going off, uh, going off body weight. Body weight. It's got to be me, Fat supplies. By about three years. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone after two days. <laughs> Skeleton in corner. So either that or you eat me. Uh, well, we could actually like cut some bits off you. Yeah, and then we'll just... Yeah, then we'll... I could just definitely last long. He's got a bit more nonce to me. I'm just all in and nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm... You're seeing a bird climbing to the top of the tree falling and falling off, out. Dead. Yeah. That's me done. I'm yeah. waiting for you to fall out than eating you. Eating you. you. So he's too smart, too smart. That's why he's an half back and I'm not. If we were both stuck on a desert island, who would last the longest and why? Me. Oh. <laughs> I agree, uh, you're a good wrestler and I think you would eat me by the time that happens. How would you describe me on a dating website? Confident. 
Honestly, <laughs> please. Uh, I'm not giving you a lift off. <laughs> you don't actually talk to the girls that well in person, face to face, so <laughs> a text and that, I think you'd be good on it. So a dating website, a bit of Tinder, I reckon. You'd go all right. What do you find most inspiring about me? Probably just the way you are each week. You know what you're going to get. You know, you're probably our top performer or in our top two, three performers week in, week out. I think probably the way you've done it, you've done it the hard way as well. Obviously part time at Lee, coming into you know a, what you'd say is a big Super League club, <laughs> kind of backing yourself, giving you your job up, and you know the way you've come in and done it is probably you know I know it inspires me each week, and, and all the the lads around the place are inspired by by what you do on the field. Cheers, you get that. Make sure you got that. Cut that bit out. Cut that bit. <laughs>